This question is really based on how you determine social life. Because I don't know if you look at social life as in comparison to how the non-Muslims socialize. And this is where we kind of go astray. This is where I kind of see things, you know, where we're removing ourselves from the teachings of Islam. You may see individuals have a certain type of social gathering or social platform for socializing. So now we need to have an Islamic one. You know what? They have UFC. Why don't we have MFC? Muslim Federation Corporate. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is like, this is where the discord comes from the obedience of the Muslim and staying steadfast upon our deen is when we start to try to duplicate the social lives of those who are not Muslims. And may Allah guide them. Because these social things, if you ever looked at these MTV shows, busted. <laughs> you know, you look at these MTV shows, right? Real world and all this type of stuff. They put five strangers in the room. Five strangers in the room. And it's balanced out between, you know, men and women. You have the one girl, she's so high, so diddy, I don't do all that, I don't do all that, I don't do all that. By the end of the show, everyone didn't have physical relations with each other. It's just ridiculous. This is what social environments do. They breed fitna, they breed sin. What is a social in environment for the Muslim? Sitting in a circle, together with your brothers and sisters, reading the Quran. Sitting in a circle, reflecting on, you know what I'm saying? The times that the Prophet started selling and the companions. This is a healthy social environment. Who says we can't do it over a hot plate of food? There's nothing wrong with that. Who say that we can't be in a park somewhere or somewhere where, you know, we have open space to just let our hair down, for lack of better words. This is healthy for us. But stuff for the law then when cats is at the I mean I live in Egypt. And you know, after a certain hour, I mean they everybody I mean gets crazy. You can go eat in a day when you know most of the practicing Muslim is out. Restaurants to have TV, they'll play soccer, certain things. SubhanAllah, after Maghrib, but Wallahi Aki, they have just the Arab singing girl up there. She's like the Arabian Beyonce that's breaking out, you know, the shisha pots and these cats is just looking like Jamaicans. I'm like, what's wrong with them? I was just everybody's smoking, they just puffing. I'm like, yo, what is that? You understand? This is not a healthy social environment. And it saddens me sometimes when I see the modest sister sitting amongst these people and it's like, man, give it a week, man. Next thing will come out of the hair, next thing is going to be pulled back and look like a hoodie, and next thing you know it's just going to be off. And she's just going to be sitting there with them too. Going, <laughs> Same thing with the brothers. You can tell he's shy. He's trying to hit, wave and cough and eat at the same time. Next thing you know, it's like, let me hit that. So, you know, just stay firm upon, you know, what's correct. And stay out of environments that's a fitness to you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those